What up, what up? What is going on, guys? Your boy GS, and today we are going to talk about Madden 15. This gameplay is uh, an older gameplay. Um, so if you've seen it already, don't worry about it. Just to give my thoughts and opinions, you know, the game's been out for a good, I don't know, two weeks now or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the calendar and count the days, but um, I've had the game. Uh, a week prior to release so I, i've gotten to play it a lot you know and uh i did that stream on twitch letting people know what how i thought of the game and uh you know the the cons and pros of the games and things like that but you know now i'm gonna go ahead and do that you know on youtube for people who didn't catch the stream and things like that you know first and foremost this game is it's not perfect no game is perfect you know uh there's definitely some issues with it but I can say that, in my opinion, they're headed in the right direction. You know, uh, Madden 25, to me, was just flat out not good. On 360 and PS3, it, it was just not good. It was not a good game. You needed to block seven to stop a five-man blitz. The line was easily, you know, manipulated. Uh, you know, trucking people was absolutely insane and unrealistic. And uh, it, it, it was just very arcadey, and, and I did not like it. When the newer version came out, you know, Xbox One and PS4 came out, they completely revamped everything. You know, the blocking AI was a lot better. You know, uh, catch, you could actually swap the ball and, you know, defensive mechanics were a lot better. Just everything about the overall game was a huge upgrade. Now, uh, even though it was a big upgrade, there were still some issues with it. You know, then this year comes out and, okay, it's even tougher. You know, this game definitely took time to get used to there's nobody that i know that you know picked up the sticks and got you know uh got the hang of it immediately you know i've seen you know from pro players <laughs> that would pick it up and you know struggle a little bit took time to learn from you know people you know just everybody i knew it took some time to get used to the changes that were in this game and you had to uh pretty much just learn a new game in itself and uh I can say that th there are some issues with the game that I don't like. For one, like showing your last play is, uh, you can tell they're headed more sim style, which, you know, I, I understand that. You know, they want anybody to be able to pick up the game and compete. You know, they want anybody who plays on a D lineman, picks cover three all game. They want those guys to be able to go online and be able to compete, have fun and win, you know, and, um, and I've lost to people like that. That's how <laughs> difficult it can be. You know, when you go up against people who just run those defenses, you really need to learn what beats what. But uh, I don't like that they show your last place. To me, that's 100% no-no. I don't know why they would think that that... Uh, I mean, I understand why. For the newer players who are constantly getting beat by plays, they want them to show, okay, this is what's beating you. You need to learn how to stop it. But what was always good about Madden is the fact that you always needed to figure out on your own you know like man is kind of holding your hand a little bit with that and to me that that takes away skill for you to learn what formation people are in what plays they're running for you to figure it out and for you to figure out how to stop it you know uh, it took a lot of skill for you to you know play this game a lot recognize each playbook know what playbook that guy's running know what plays he's beating you with and know what to stop those plays you know that took time and effort and skill in order to you know provide that knowledge and to me, they, they just got rid of that. And um, like now, if I'm running a good offensive play or a defensive play, they can just see it immediately. And I I don't like that. I, you know, I, I think that they should get rid of that completely. Like, I just don't disagree with it. Now, you can turn it off, but it's only on your end. So it's an option where if I turn it off, I won't see your plays, but you'll still see mine. So you might as well leave it on. There's no point in turning it off. You know, I, I disagree with that. Broken sacks in this game happen way too often. Quarterbacks are continuously shrugging off sacks multiple times a game. And that right there is absolutely ridiculous. You know, if I get to the quarterback, you know, nine times out of ten, you should be able to sack him no problem. This game, it seems, is more like six out of ten. You know, you got uh, QBs that's not even known for having, you know, like quick elusiveness and agility just shrugging off. You know, like if I have a Robert Mathis screaming at Tom Brady, he's going down. You know, I can understand maybe an RG3 or Cam Newton or, you know, somebody that can shuffle really quickly and, and just step away. But to flat out just break the sack continuously, like, 
You guys know what I'm talking about. That happens way too often. I understand they want that in the game. It should be in the game. It happens in real life. You know, not every sack is successful. Sometimes they just over pursue and a quick little duck or dodge or whatever. They will be uh, thrown off. But it happens way too continuously. I've been, you know, uh, labbing some stuff with people in like uh, exhibition games. And, you know, we're trying to work on blitzes and defense. And um, I think this one drive, Kaepernick did it like eight times. Like literally like in one drive insane there's no way that should happen that happens way too often uh you know but the good things about the game is the the zones work really 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 well they are they're the toughest to beat this year than they've ever been in madden like a, a regular cover three sometimes can give you some trouble it can you know like uh the zones like i said they just play really phenomenal sometimes it can be tough to read if it's man or zone you know i've seen people run stuff against me it'll be like a zone and i've seen like a light blue because there's nobody else on the side of that field follow a drag over the middle like i'm not even joking i've seen a light blue like a cover two since there's nobody on that side of the field a light blue will cover a drag running over the middle and that that's insane that's in that's incredibly tough <laughs> you know zones are really 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 good um the running it's all about elusive backs. I feel like they need to give power backs a little bit more. Like, you know, last year, you know, it was all about the trucking. You know, like LaShawn McCoy probably couldn't run over everybody. But, you know, Marshawn will run over three, four people at a time. So power backs were very, you know, viable. This year, like, uh, I rarely run anybody over with bigger guys with Marshawn and, you know, just uh, the bigger backs in the game. You know, like Peterson, when you try to run people over, like, I rarely just flat out run people over. But when you got elusiveness like that, when you got like a Reggie Bush or Jamal Charles or whatever, a double juke, you're making two, three people miss, and they don't have that go-to move for the bigger backs. You know, they do fall forward. Like you got Frank Gore, you know, uh, sometimes you'll get tackled and they'll just fall forward three, four yards. But that's not every time. You know what I mean? I can do a double juke every time, and almost 90%, whoever's in front of me is going to miss that tackle. There's no go-to move for the bigger backs, and, and I feel like they should have something you know, make trucking just a little bit more effective. Now, I'm not saying how it was in PS3. We could literally run over the entire linebacking core. But, you know, every once in a while, you know, at, at least once a drive, let me be able to put my shoulder down and run somebody over. You know what I mean? Because if I'm playing with an elusive back, every play, I can probably, you know, um, get by the first defender really quickly. And you don't really have that with bigger backs. I, I wish they would, uh, you know, include that a little bit more. But the running is really good. They slow down True Step a lot. And if you guys remember True Step from last year, it's like if you're running just a simple drag and you try to cut up field, you you would like study your feet for like two, three seconds before you would have to stop and cut up field. Now, it's still there, but it's dumbed down a lot, which I like. You know, I want to be able to catch a drag and turn up field. Now, understand that, um, you know, not everybody has that agility to, you know, stop and drop on a dime and just cut up field. So I, I like it that they still have it there. They're still implementing True Step, but it's just... A lot less is dumbed down because last year it was ridiculous, ridiculous. So uh, it's still there. You know the the running mechanics I, I like. You know as far as receiving and all that stuff, I uh, I definitely like that. Uh, another thing I don't like is that I really feel like they don't pay any attention to online rank matches. And I understand that mutt is their biggest thing. They're making millions and millions of dollars on mutt, so of course they want to go to mutt. And you know whenever they're designing Madden. Their first thing, their first concept is going to be how can we make Mutt better, which I understand. But online ranked matches, they really don't care about, you can tell, uh, well, not care about because I'm sure they care about everything in the game. But uh, you can tell there, there's no real effort put forth to trying to improve it. You know, I noticed yesterday that um, uh, when I went to Mutt and I backed out, and when you hit B, when you're trying to exit Mutt, it asks you, are you sure you want to exit Mutt? It doesn't do that for online ranked match. Now, that may see something that nobody may understand. But to me, when I seen that, I was like, oh, okay. They want to keep you in Mutt. They don't want you to leave. They're asking you, are you sure you want to leave Mutt? And I went to ranked match. I was like, yo, if it doesn't say that for then, then I already know where their mind was. You go to online mode. You hit B button, bam, straight back to the main menu. But when you do that for Mutt, it asks you, are you sure you want to exit Mutt? Are you sure? Because they want to keep you there. Because they know that's where they're making money. And I understand it's a good business move. But online ranked matches, there's... There's no improvement, and, and I feel like uh, they really need to, you know, try and improve that mode uh, because it, it's still something a lot of people enjoy doing. You know, um, you can tell by when it started, they they didn't uh, reset the skill points from last year. 
which was I, I think was a mistake. And then they did it, but then all the records were the same. Like on my main account, I was just BSing because I heard it was going to be reset. So I was, you know, just messing around with some things. I mean, I probably would have lost all those games anyway because I was ass. But still, um, you know, they reset, you know, all of the skill, all of the skill points from last year about a week later, and then you know all the records were the same. And I was just like, wow, you know, if I knew that, I probably would have took it a little bit more serious. But, you know, nonetheless, man, I really feel like a little bit more effort could be put towards ranked matches. Now, I know some people are like, well, it's a ranked match. What more can you do? You know, just implement something. Just just let us know you're trying to improve it for us. You know, back in when they had fair play, they also had a system where you would get more points depending on the team differential. So if I pick the Jaguars and I beat, you know, the Seahawks, I would gain a little bit more points because I picked a lower ranked team. I would love for them to implement that back. I really, really wish they would bring that back. You know, uh, if I have a higher team, you know, like um, if I have the 49ers and you have the Jaguars and I win, uh, which if if we're on the same skill level, I should be able to win considering my team is, you know, vastly better. I should be able to get, you know, not as many skill points because I, I, I took a better team and it was a little easier for me to win. Whereas if it was the other way around and you beat me, you deserve more points because your team was a lot better. I, I really wish they would bring that back. You, you guys know how I feel about fair play. You know, just implement something different. Let us know you're working on it, you know. But uh, I would love to know in the comment section, how do you guys feel about the game so far? What do you like about it? What what do you dislike about it? Um, I would love to know your thoughts. You know, uh, maybe somehow we can, I don't know. I would, I would, you know, maybe something can happen. Who knows? <laughs> I would just love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Those are my opinions on it, what I like and dislike about the game. But like I said, no game is perfect and they're headed in the right direction. And uh, that's what I like about it. Uh, you know, hopefully this can continue. It's your boy GS, and I'm up. Peace. Give it to me, baby.